Okay, the rules for drawing Lewis structures. What we just looked at back here are Lewis dot symbols. Y'all, Lewis dot symbols, it's for a single element, and it's just drawing the symbol. But when we're talking about now drawing Lewis dot structures, we're talking about an actual compound that's got more than one kind of atom in it and drawing its structure. Um, there are rules in your book that are going to kind of go along with what I'm telling you. In your book, in this Burge, the third edition book, it's on page 337. Okay? Page 337 in that Burge book. Now, let's, let's use carbon tetrachloride. As I go through the rules, we're going to draw carbon tetrachloride. So when I say carbon tetrachloride, you guys should know what that formula is. What is the formula for carbon tetrachloride? CCL4. CCL4. And we should know that, right? Because that's chapter 2. So what does that tell us? That tells us that when I draw the Lewis structure, I'm going to have one carbon and four chlorines in the Lewis structure. Now, the first rule is... Add up the total number of valence electrons. Or it's not really a rule, I guess, more as a step. Step one is to add up the total number of valence electrons. So what does that mean? In carbon tetrachloride, do you agree that I've got one carbon and I've got four chlorines? Okay, according to the periodic table, since carbon is in group 14, how many valence electrons do, do group 14 elements have? Four. So I'm going to, one carbon and it has four valence. Chlorine, there's four chlorines, but each chlorine has how many valence? Seven. What total does that give me? That gives me 32 electrons. Okay? So step one is to figure out how many electrons I have to work with. And to do that, we're going to follow something like what I've got drawn here, and we're going to add up the valence electrons. Now, here's the rule. We, got, we have to use 32. No more. You can't use more because you only have 32, and it's not a good idea to save and not use them all. You have to use exactly 32. So that's our... Step one. Step two is to sketch the molecule. Just sketch it how you think they're bonded to each other. Use lines for your bonds. Don't worry about dots. And in the sketch, I should draw one carbon and four chlorines. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, what I'm going to draw, and yeah, granted, I've drawn a few more than you guys have. But this is what I'm going to draw. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. They had two chlorides, a carbon, and two chlorides. Okay. Y'all, a lot of times you're going to draw some kind of sketch like this. You're going to have what's called a central atom. What's the central atom in this sketch? Carbon. Carbon. Could you have figured out from that formula, that CCL4, what the central atom would be? Mm -hmm. See, it's the carbon. A lot of times the central atom is written first in the formula. Uh, if it's not written first, then the central atom is the one that there's fewest of. And, guys, carbon? Carbon's always going to be a central atom. So, like, for okay. water, oxygen be your central For atom? water, oxygen would be your central atom. Yes. Okay. So, that's step two. Step three, satisfy the octets of all atoms bonded to the central atom.
what this rule means for what we have drawn, guys, it means we've got to satisfy the octets of the chlorines because those are the atoms bonded to the central atom. Now, what does octet mean? We went over that rule. Octet means it has to have eight. How many does it have right now? Y'all, each of these lines represents two electrons, okay? A line is a bond, and that single line is two electrons. So right now, if I'm looking at this chlorine, this chlorine right now has two electrons because it, it has these two in this bond. So how many more does it need? It needs six, so this is what I'm going to do to that chlorine. If I pick the chlorine on the bottom, how many does it have right now? It has two. How many dots do I need to put around it? Six. And notice I'm putting the dots. Remember we talked about how each symbol has four sides and I'm pairing them up. I'm not just kind of throwing them out there. They're paired up on the four sides. What am I going to do to the other chlorines? Same thing. What extra dot? Okay. It's sharing with the carbon. Okay, she said, what happened to the extra dot? So you're going back to this, what we did here earlier, where chlorine would have had seven. Well, now this one, where I've got it drawn in red here, it's sharing it with the carbon. Carbon would have fit here where I've got silica. See, it would have had four. And now it's sharing that one with the chlorine. So this is where we've got right now. We've got the carbons, the chlorines, and all the dots around the chlorines. <clears throat> That's step three. Satisfy the octets of all atoms bonded to the central atom. Step four is place leftover electrons on the central atom. Place leftover electrons on the central atom. Now, look at your structure, okay? I'm going to flip slides. Count the dots, and don't forget to count the bonds. How many electrons are in the bond? Two. Count up all the dots and all the bonds that you've got drawn and tell me how many electrons you ha we have right now. We've got 32. Do you see that? We count the dots, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, et cetera. We've got 32. Now, go look back up here at what we started off with. How many did we say we had? 32. Are there any leftover electrons to put on the central atom? No, there's not. So, guys, we might be finished with our Lewis structure. How do you know if you're finished with your Lewis structure? There's two things that we have to check. Okay, the first check is, were all the electrons used? Yes. Mm -hmm. And by all the electrons, for the ones we're drawing, I'm talking about that 32. And you realize that number is going to change depending on what compound you're drawing. This one was 32. Were all the electrons used? Well, the answer to that one is yes. We just checked that. The second question that we need to ask ourselves is does every atom have an octet? Yes. Let me show you how to count those. You're right, it, every atom does have an octet, but I want to go over how to count them with you. Okay? Look at your structure. Y'all, when you are counting octets, you are going to count the bonds two times. Because do you see that this chlorine right here has eight valence, has an octet, has eight electrons now. Okay? The chlorine on the bottom, it also has eight. The chlorine on the right has eight. The chlorine at the top has eight. So the chlorines have eight, but I also have to check the carbon. Now look at it. It also has eight. Do you see how I counted the bonds to satisfy each chlorine's octet? And I also counted the bonds to satisfy carbon's octet. So everything has eight. 
So when I look at those two questions that I just asked myself, were all the electrons used? Yes. The second question, does every atom have an octet? Yes. If the answer to both of those questions is yes, then you are finished with the Lewis structure. Okay? So if both of these have an answer of yes, then you're finished. What if they don't both have an answer of yes? Then you're not, then you're not finished. You have to fix it. So that's where uh, step five comes in. And I'm running out of room on this slide, so I'm going to add step five on a completely different slide, okay? Yes, if you don't answer yes to both questions, if one of them's no, that's when you use step five. <clears throat> so if there aren't enough electrons to give the central atom an octet, Or you might say, if one of the answers is no to the check, then you've got two things that you can try to fix it. The first thing, A, is to try multiple bonds. You know, what multiple bonds would look like, for example, if... If I'm going to bond X to Y, well, that's a single bond. But if I put another line in the middle, it's now a double bond. So that would be, as drawn, that's four electrons. I could put another line in the middle, and that would be called a triple bond, and that's six electrons. So that's your only choice is, is when you're doing multiple bonds is to go up to a double or go up to a triple. There are no quadruple bonds. Okay, so A, try multiple bonds, or B... And you're going to love this one. It may be an exception to the octet rule. It may be an exception to the octet rule. Just like there's always exceptions, right? Here's the rule. It's like, well, sometimes it's named like this. Um, we're going to slowly step into drawing Lewis structures, and the first thing I'm going to... We're going to draw some that are going to work, for starters, and then we're going to introduce something that's got to do a multiple bond, and we're going to get really comfortable with handling step A before we go into step B, and I say, oh, here's the exceptions, okay? Because I want you to get comfortable with the ones that just work out and with A first.